So today I'm going to be sharing with you how you as a YouTuber can get your friends and family to support you. If you're interested in seeing that, please keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so very much for joining me today. I'm always happy when I see you here on my channel. And if you're joining me for the very first time, my name is Mujisala Bazwaye. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell button so you can be notified when I share a brand new video on my channel. Let's get into this video guys. Oh, one of the mistakes I actually made on my channel is I never used any call to action. I didn't tell anybody what to do. I just came here, did the video and published them right there. So as a YouTuber, especially for people who are new, the first thing to do all the time is to tell your viewers what to do. Tell them in plain language what to do. Please subscribe to my channel. It's as simple as that. Or please, click the like button tell them to leave their comments those three things are very very important for you as a youtuber youtube considers that as engagement if you miss that beat you are missing the most important trick of being a successful youtuber so have a routine maybe your videos will be live every monday at 2 p.m make it consistent if you have a routine your viewers actually know your fans People who really genuinely love your channel and your content don't know that, oh, there'll be a new video there. You see people giving it a thumbs up as soon as the video goes live. So have a routine and stick with the routine. If your routine changes, tell your viewers, tell your audience. It makes a lot of difference. So number three, how to get your friends to support you as a YouTuber. Be consistent in your YouTube upload. Consistency actually helps YouTube to recognize that you're a consistent user of their platform and they are likely to push your videos out to other people. So for example, if someone comes on YouTube and is looking for a video on how to care for natural hair and you make videos in that area, YouTube is likely to feed your video to that person if you are very consistent. But if you just show up once in a while, YouTube will just look for a video of the person who is very consistent and feed it to them you'll be lacking in that regard. So be consistent. So another way to get your friends and family to support you is to know where they are. Where are your friends? There's no point sharing on Facebook if you don't have any friends on Facebook. Look for where your viewers are. Where are they? Are they on Facebook? Are they on Instagram? Are they on Twitter? Look for them and let them know that you have a new video. Invite them to watch. So that way you're able to get them engaged with your video. You're able to get their support. Don't just drop the link there. People don't respond to that as much. You give them like a teaser, what you expect them to get from your video. Share one or two pointers or tell them in this video, this is what you're likely to get. So they are more likely to respond to your videos if you do that, okay? Hi. If you're new to YouTube, it's always best to have an intro video of your YouTube channel. What's your channel about? So someone coming to your channel for the very first time, possibly they don't know you. If they're able to view that teaser, they're able to tell what your channel is all about, what, you, what they're likely to get. I'll, I'll link a teaser of my career level up video on the top for you. It gives people an idea of what your channel is all about. So if, if Tyler Perry shoots a film, for example, before the film goes to the market, there's always a teaser. So the teaser is what tells people what the film is all about. So they are looking forward to seeing more. It's the same thing with YouTube. That intro video makes a lot of difference. In the intro video, say your name, say what your channel is all about, invite people to subscribe. It helps them decide whether they're interested in that kind of content or not. It's as simple as that. And put it right there on your channel. It helps you as a YouTuber to grow your audience and to grow your subscribers and to grow your views. And finally, how to get your audience to support you is for you to be yourself. You don't want a YouTube journey that will be short-lived. Be yourself. What am I saying? Be authentic, be original. 
people can actually read through you. So, and these are my simple tips for how to get your friends to support you as a YouTuber. I want to wish you all the best on your YouTube journey. Keep popping those videos out. People need what you know. So, I want to thank you very much for joining me today. If you enjoyed watching this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, please feel free to share with your friends and family. It's all free. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell button so you can be notified when I share a brand new video on my channel. I love you for watching and I'll speak to you soon on my next video. Bye.